Patrick and Jim at PALS, and Jim's got the differential out. Now he's going through his shim pack, and he's going to install these shims, and you can see they slide in. He's got an idea about how far he wants to move it. But, and folks, it's all trial and error. And then the final will be putting the compound on the ring gear and measuring the depth. But you can see on each side he's got shims. They look like little washers that he's putting in there. Uh -oh. and everything has to line up and everything has to be straight. Mm -hmm. Keep in mind, these are individual shims. So the chances of getting them all lined up the first time are slim and none <laughs> because they all move. Everything moves all at once. There it goes. Okay. One of those things where if you haven't developed curse words, you may develop them after doing this. Jim's being very patient, taking it out. Gonna take a break here and take a good look at it. Sometimes that's what you have to do. And sometimes the smallest little neck will hold you up from getting it. See those shims just sit on top, and then everything has to go together. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. Now, folks, we've got this truck up on a lift. You can imagine doing this in your driveway with jack stands laying down, how difficult it would be. It's so much easier if you've got the right equipment to get it done. Okay, here we go. It's lining everything up. It's all going to come together. There we go. And you know, folks, this is things you never see. They never show you the struggle of putting these things together. And it is a struggle. And it's trial and error. You just have to be patient, take your time, and they will go together. So he's got different shims there. You're going to pick different sizes, put it together, and here we go. There it is. Fell right into place. Now you need that little bit of room. That's what he's after. And then he'll tighten that up and it will work great. If you've got a differential and need shims and rebuilding, bring it to PALS. See you soon.